overall thoughts on the win? Yeah, I, you know, finals week, it's a goofy week. It's nice to have this game at home, I, you know, just to kind of, you know, you're trying to schedule, uh, put your schedule together. And and uh, it's nice to have some games where we're here at home. And, and uh, this week is a difficult week with, with all the academic stuff, uh, just with testing and stuff. So. Good. I, you know, we had some goals. We wanted to hold these guys to five or fewer threes. They average almost ten a game. Um, we gave them. They got three. Uh, and uh, you know, we wanted to. I thought in the first half we didn't take care of the ball as well as I wanted to. But I thought the possessions around our turnovers. I thought we had really good offensive possessions. The ball got moved. It got shared. I thought. You know, we were trying to make an emphasis of really going inside. Emphasis of going inside. And, and, you know, getting the ball moving. And I thought the guys did a good job of that. Um, and, and, you know, defensively, it just felt like we were pretty tuned in most of the game. Uh, uh, you can always look and see some possessions. But when you start building a lead sometimes, it's kind of hard to keep that edge. And I thought our guys did a pretty good job of staying locked in defensively. So, um, you know, we appreciate Waldorf coming. I mean, I'm sure it's busy academic time for them as well. And uh, but but you know now it's on to Utah Tech and uh, then Nebraska and just closing this first part of the season down. So, yeah. How do these games against like non D one teams help you as a coach and just as a team in general? Well, it's, I tell you the one thing that is nice is if you play it the right way and you can build a lead and play a lot of different guys. I think that's a great thing. I think it's great to get Hong on the floor tonight more. It's great to get Mara on the floor more. Just get him more experience. I, I, I kind of wish that some of these games, like in football, where where they get to play freshman four games, it, it would have been great to play some redshirt guys in some of these games. Like we don't have that rule in college basketball, but I really wish they would look at it, um, just simply because I don't think it really impacts a player other than just positively, if you can get them on the floor and play them a little bit in a game that, that, that you know, it's, it's more, and I've been on the NAIA and the D2 side of going in and playing Division ones, and I know how we always treated it, like a great opportunity to go play against a, a, a team that is longer, bigger, more athletic, and, and, and uh, I always felt it was a good opportunity for us to get better to play against that kind of competition. And in the same respect for us, when we're playing a team um, it's a non-division one. It's nice to play everybody and get better as a team and get those players some playing time. So I think that's where it helps you the most. I, I think too, you can really simplify and just work on some things. Like we really wanted to work on defending threes because the Utah Tech team, you know, they got almost six guys that score in double figures. A lot of different guys that can make threes and we got to be ready to guard that the three-point line. So that was an emphasis and we did a good job with that. And, and um, and then you know the other emphasis was we got to get this ball inside and get the ball moving. And, and again, you, you know, I, I just think tonight was a game that allowed us to 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 worry a little bit less on having to make all these shots and, and worry a little bit more about get the ball moving. And and I think that helped us. So you know, you you you, you want to put, you know, you want to approach these games with a mindset of of where, where are areas that we can really kind of put some goals in and pinpoint. And I thought our guys did a good job of fulfilling those and, and playing through it. Long answer on, a, on your question. I apologize. No, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, Daniel had his first points yeah. at UND tonight. Um, yeah. Just what does that mean for him and for you guys? Well, you know, Daniel's a really good player. I, it, it's, it's, uh, you know, he shoots it extremely well. Um, and he's an everyday guy. Like, he just – He's an everyday guy. He, he brings it every day, uh, really works at it. He's a phenomenal human being. He's a, he's a good basketball player. Um, and he, like I said, it, it's great to see him get on the floor and play. Um, and, and so I'm happy for him. Um, it doesn't surprise me because I watch him practice every day and see him make shots. So like, like I wasn't surprised when some shots go in. I'm almost more surprised when they don't for him because he does shoot it really well. Um. <laughs> Brady was out tonight. Yeah. Any timeline for him? With Brady, it's really hard to put a timeline in because there's the medical timeline that for, for an injury that he had, and then there's Brady's timeline. And I think that's what I'm sure Travis Shock is dealing with, as I'm dealing with, is Brady's timeline because Brady's just tough. He's just tough. And, and he's everything you want in a guy as far as his makeup. 
um, from mental to physical, and 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 I know he wants to be on the floor, but we we just we got to make sure that he's ready, and we got to make sure that it's the right time to do it because we need him as this season goes on. So, you know, we'll see. I I, I don't have an answer for you because it's just, um, man, I'd love to see him. I'd love to see him this next week playing, but I just don't know if that's going to happen. Got to ask about Brian too, of course. Yeah, I'm uh, glad you are. I mean, he had. He had more minutes than three of your starters today. Yeah. Um, what'd you like from him? Well, and that's, you know, you ask, you know, these games, it's great to be able to do that and, and get him out there, you know. Um, it, it, with the emergence of Amar and kind of what he's been doing, uh, we we're playing T kind of at a four and a five, but, like, we we're, we need Brian. Um, as this season continues to go on, like, we need him. And I just, I loved his confidence going into his moves. And, and the ones he missed, I felt like you could kind of see him doubting that score and the ones that he scored on it's like there was no doubt in his mind he's going to get where he wants to get to and he's going to get that shot up and and so it's just getting more of that from him um and and I thought there was a lot of that tonight our guys did an awesome job of getting the ball inside not just to him but but specifically he played a lot so he got a lot of touches and then our guys cut he made some really nice passes out of the post for open shots um, we had different guys post, and I think they found Amar for a couple open shots out of the post. So that's the idea, right, is kind of playing through that heart, through the inside out, and, and, and it's just amazing. It's amazing how, how it opens up offenses when, when you can play with some pace, cut with some pace, and get the ball inside and play from that inside out. It really helps us. And I think it helped our makes. I, you know, shooting from three, our shots were in rhythm. They weren't rushed. They weren't trying to make a one-on-one -on -one play into a shot. I, I thought they all were within the rhythm of what we wanted to do. And if, when we have quality shots, I think we got quality shooters that can make them.